Hello, everybody from Berea, where today the Browns took the hardest knock of them all. When the news came out that linebacker Michael Kendricks is being charged by federal authorities for insider trading to the point where he took $1.2 million in profits from information that he gathered from a friend he called who was at the time a broker for Goldman Sachs and is now a comedy writer for the ABC sitcom Blackage. In return, Kendricks paid to that person $10,000 in cash and gave him tickets to Philadelphia Eagles games, Kendricks' old team. Now, the problem is multifold. The Browns, did they know about the situation? Did Kendricks keep this information from the team? What will the NFL do? After all, Kendricks has admitted guilt in this situation, and therefore he's admitted to a felony. He is not with the team right now. You wonder if he will ever be with the team again as the process goes along. He's apologized. Now to the football side of things. The highlight of the Browns' entire preseason has been their defense. One of the reasons, the play of Michael Kendricks. With him out of there right now, how does that make the Browns' defense look as we get set for the start of the regular season? Should they make a bold move? The best defensive player in the entire NFL is now a holdout with the Oakland Raiders, Khalil Mack. The Browns have ample draft choices and a ton of money. Why not make the bold move and try and get Khalil Mack in a trade from Oakland and then sign him to a long-term deal? But for now, the career of Michael Kendricks as a Brown and an NFL player, very, very much in question. From Berea, I'm Jim Donovan, Channel 3 Sports.